Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and today I'm coming to you with another range report. And this range report is on my SIG P225A1. This is a 9mm single stack variant of the SIG P series of handguns, so it looks very much like a 220 or a 226. It is designed kind of for the concealed carry market here in the United States, but this is the modern iteration and version of the old SIG P6, which was one of the three guns that won a police contract back in the 1980s, along with the Walther P5 and the famous HK P7. But uh, SIG offered this, and originally these P6 would have had a stamped sheet metal slide, it would have been made in Germany, and um, the magazines, and from my understanding, the grips are actually a little bit different. So there's a few parts in this that do not interchange between the pistols. I unfortunately have never had the opportunity to handle a P6, although it is one of the guns on kind of my short list. They're not that rare and that collectible and that valuable. I've just never been able to find the right one for me. But I don't have that to, that to compare. I'm just going off what I've heard and read on the internet for what it's worth. But today's range report is on the 225A1, and the A1 designates it's kind of the modern version of this. It has the uh, milled slide here. Uh, it is made, this is an American made firearm. It has G10 grips, and I really like those SIG medallions inlaid in, uh, in those. In fact, this is the second P225 I've owned. The first one I acquired at a trade, and it was like a special edition of the 225 it had like a couple markings on the slide i didn't like the styling of it as much i don't like the, uh, the grip so i ended up trading that because it's a more desirable gun to some people and getting this one so being that it's designed for the concealed carry market it really does its job well i have a couple of holsters for this thing uh, i love the fact that this is an all metal framed firearm so it feels weighty it, it, it feels beefy in the hands, but it's actually a relatively small gun. It's just, you can just feel that quality. That's like one of the, the things I don't like about polymer guns is, I'm not saying that they feel like a toys, they just feel less substantial. And this really gives you the feel of you're carrying a gun, you're holding a gun. I think the styling is awesome. It just looks like a 220 or a, a 226. It's just, I think a very, very attractive gun with very nice lines. It's balanced extremely well. Uh, this does come with the Sig Light night sights on it. It is a uh, double action, single action trigger with the Sig decocker on it. And one of the things I absolutely love about this gun is the short reset trigger or the SRT. So I want to kind of just see if I can do this here on a camera and kind of show you the reset on this thing. So pull it back, very light uh, trigger pull, and then the reset. I mean, it's barely out. It's so nice. The trigger on this thing is exceptional uh, for a double action, single action handgun. I love this thing. It feels great in the hand. It's a natural uh, kind of feeling like you're pointing it naturally. Uh, it's balanced well. It's attractive, easy to conceal. All those things I think are points in the positive column. There is one negative to this gun for me personally. And I'm gonna first off say this is probably all me and not the gun. I find this gun to be very inaccurate. It's not inaccurate that I would feel uncomfortable using it in a defensive situation, but when I shoot it, I just cannot get this gun to group that well. But I'm gonna take the blame on that. This is a SIG after all, it's a modern SIG, and I am not the best marksman in the entire world. Well, I shoot some guns really well, mainly Glocks. I just seem to shoot Glocks extremely consistently. And my larger framed SIGs, like my 226, I shoot that great along with my Beretta M9s or 92 FSs. This one, I really struggle to get good groups. I tend to shoot it extremely low and to the left. I'm not sure if it's the sights or most likely it's me. So I'm not gonna blame the gun and, and say, oh, it's a terrible gun because it's inaccurate. I'm, I'm gonna fully admit that maybe I just need more practice on this one. Um, it's not one of the guns that I usually carry. And it's not one of the guns I usually take to the range. So it's maybe a little bit of an unfamiliarity to it, but um, I just find that it's an inaccurate gun. And the people that I also have shoot this kind of feel the same way. As I said, all the rounds are on target. Um, 
it's just a bigger group that I would expect. And I have people shoot this at five, seven, 10 yards and things. You know, at your basic defensive handgun uses and distances, it's just not that accurate. So I, I, as I said, I can't figure it out on this one. But reliability, never had an issue. I've run, you know, Winchester NATO, I've run uh, Winchester White Box, I've run all types of hollow points through this, uh, uh, Gold Dot, um, you know, jacketed hollow points, everything you can think of, this thing eats it all. It's awesome. So reliability, um, the quality that has gone into this gun, the fit, the finish, the feel, top notch. I just don't shoot it well. So I'm curious if anybody else has one of these P225s and kind of feels the same way about it. It also has an outstanding trigger. Everything on it feels tight. It's all locked up. I love it. It's just a great gun all the way around. As I said, it carries easy. It has so many things going for it. It's just not that accurate for me. So maybe somebody can uh, tell me their experiences with their own. I would love to hear that in the comment section below. So there's not much else to say about it besides it just is a SIG. And as I mentioned before, uh, if you do have a P6 or one of the older P225s, which there are ones out there, the magazines are not compatible. And this is also something about the magazines. I don't understand why SIG did this. You're only dealing with an eight round capacity magazine. And the bottom of the magazine has this indentation to it. It's kind of like it's, it's, con, it's concave. And it kind of seems like, see if I can get this in focus. Yeah, there, there you go, it's concave. And it kind of seems like if they redesigned the base plate here, they could easily get another round in there to give you nine, which would, wouldn't, really wouldn't be a big deal because in a place where this gun would probably be popular, would be in a place where you have magazine capacity limits, nine is still under 10. So it could you know, give you that one extra round and then with one in the chamber, you do get uh, uh, 10 rounds there. So that's just one thing about this gun I don't understand and one thing I would really like to see one of the original SIG P6s and kind of see what the difference is and also understand why the magazines aren't compatible. Uh, I don't know if it's because they want to sell more magazines and there's so many uh, P6 mags on the, on the surplus market or if it has something to do with the reliability and the design of the feed lips. But everything else on this gun, as I said, absolutely top notch. It is awesome. Um, so. I'm gonna say from a performance and fit and finish uh, standard, this thing is gonna get four and a half stars out of five for me. But the accuracy, it only gets about a 2.5. It's really, it really bugs me. So I'm gonna kind of average this one out and give it 3.5 out of uh, five stars. Um, but that could be just me. Someone else, one of you guys could probably pick up this up pistol and shoot it great. For me and the people that I have taken to the range with this, they get the same groupings and I cannot figure out why. Do I feel like I need to get rid of the pistol or don't like it? No, I absolutely love this. I'm gonna keep it. I'm still gonna take it to the range, mainly because I wanna see if I can shoot this thing better and what I can learn from it. But with the great trigger um, and everything else it has going for it, it is just a fantastic firearm. It just doesn't group that well. <laughs> As I said, it's probably me and there's many expert shooters on this uh, channel. Maybe you guys could give me a couple extra tips. Let me know in the comments section below. So there you go. Three and a half stars out of five overall on the SIG P225A1. And A1 being the modern version of this. So if you have a P225 or a P6, not everything's compatible. So there you go. So do you guys own one of these? You own an original P6, I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any information on my accuracy issues or the parts compatibility issues, I'd love to know in the comment section below and have a great conversation with you. So there you go. So my range report, P225A1. So as always, thanks for watching.